Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Troy and I really appreciate you taking your time tuning into my video. I'm calling on all YouTubers to make sure that you get out this story about what's happening with John Crump. What's happened to him and another YouTuber needs to be put a stop to immediately. Journalist and YouTuber John Crump is being targeted by a U.S. attorney and is seeking to censor his reporting on the auto keycard case. If you need any evidence to show that we're marching closer to becoming a banana republic, here is the proof. John Crump is a journalist who writes for Amoland News and he also distributes his content through online video platforms like YouTube. John Crump has covered some groundbreaking stories and events since he was added to the list of contributors at Amoland News, one in which involves the auto key card case. Assistant United States Attorney Laura Kofer Taylor, this prosecutor leading this witch hunt, turned kangaroo court, did not take kindly to John Crump doing his job as a journalist and filed a gag order against Crump and a fellow collaborator of his, Richard Hughes, also known as Flying Rich on what they can and cannot report on. I guess since she's a left-leaning United States attorney, she doesn't know what the First Amendment is to catch you up to speed of what's been going on if you haven't been keeping up with the case. The details of the cases that Crump and Hughes are covering revolve around Justin Irvin and Matthew Hoover of CRS Firearms and them being charged with violating the National Firearms Act of 1934 for selling machine guns and conspiracy. The auto key card was a novelty metal card being sold that had the outline of what is called a lightning link etched on it and how they could come up with this but the ATF claimed that the card itself is a machine gun, which it's not, and launched this assault on Irvin and Hoover. The implications here go beyond the Second Amendment and any unconstitutionality of the NFA. But further, this is a huge First Amendment case. John Crump covered the details of these cases and drew the ire of Assistant U.S. Attorney Taylor. John Crump rightfully was critical of the process and reported on the facts that were available. The most damaging, perhaps, to Taylor's reputation being the U.S. Attorney's Office requested that, that the jury be instructed that the auto key card is a machine gun, whether it works or not, and they must rule if the men transferred the items and if the men's intent was to transfer uncut lightning links. They also wanted the judge to prevent the defense from arguing that the auto key card was not a machine gun. Irvin and Hoover were both found guilty and have been awaiting sentencing. Aside from the fact that the charges and convictions are gross acts of injustice and show that a government for contempt of the people will go to any lengths possible to usurp their rights, the story gets weirder. When the government moves to gag, the reporting on the topic, John Crump uploaded an informative video alerting his subscribers of John Crump News that Taylor decided to go to the mattress against him and hush his First Amendment free speech. In his video, John Crump explains that he is not going to back down if it was U.S. Attorney Taylor's intention not to draw attention to documents that John Crump reported on. She sure did botch that too. As an explosion of reporting, is on its way to cover the topic. And that's why I said at the beginning of this video, every YouTuber needs to make a video about this and everybody needs to share this far and wide because they can't silence all of us. Here is part of U.S. Attorney Taylor's motion for an order prohibiting dissemination of precedence investigation report. The United States of America, by and through the undersigned assistant United States attorney, hereby notifies this court that there is a cause to believe that defendant Hoover, via his wife, has transmitted a copy of this president's investigation report to certain YouTube personalities with intention that those individuals use the PSR to create YouTube videos. U.S. Attorney Taylor's request that all copies of the president's report be destroyed. Further, she accuses Hughes and Crump of using the information to obstruct justice and grift stating the sharing of the content appears to be aimed at creating vitriol against the undersigned in this court with the intent to intimidate and obstruct these proceedings while generating views and profits for Hoover, Crump, and Hughes. And her motion concluded with, wherefore the government requests that this court issue an order reiterating that the PCRs are non-public documents 
and may not be disseminated beyond court personnel, the defense teams, and the U.S. Attorney's Office, and order that any individuals who possess a copy of the PSR without authority, including Crump, Hughes, and Erica Hoover, destroy it and confirm its destruction in writing, and any other relief this court deems necessary to protect the sentencing process in this case. This is definitely overreach by this U.S. attorney. What these people are doing is protected by the First Amendment. It's ridiculous that every day we have to fight for our Second Amendment rights, and now we have to fight for our First Amendment rights of freedom of the press and freedom of speech. And I've said it two times in this video before, and I'm going to say it again. Every YouTuber in the gun community needs to make a video about what's going on. Because like I said before, they can't silence all of us. As always, I would really like to hear your thoughts about the video in the comment section down below. And go to John Crump's channel and Flying Rich's channel and leave in their comment section of their video that you support them and that you're with them every step of the way. And I appreciate everybody's support with the channel. You guys are always crushing it, liking, sharing, and subscribing, and hitting those post notifications. And I invite everybody back to see my next video.